hoping. Just take our time. Okay, that was a little weird. There's lots of blood everywhere. <laughs> we had to move the leg, did we? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we need to go back to the floor. Floor? No, the flower drawer. Let's see what's inside here. And we now have a new address, and it's the last there is of the unfinished evidence. business in my past. Revenge. I will punish those who interfered with me. William Light, the Inquisitor. He was the one who caught me. Because of him, I was executed like a common criminal. But now, I know how to return to the past. A woman named Anna Gray has the gift. If I kill her, I can return for my revenge. And we're back at the hospital. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Do you notice what's over here? <gasps> what's happening? Where did the police officer go? Uh oh. Now I'm getting some serious chills. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, blood. Jackie, did you touch any of Howard's stuff? If you did, you're in danger. It's you who is in danger. Uh-oh. Here I am in the mage's past. It must be the day of his execution. I must find the book and the amulet. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess this is the handsome man, is it? I will get my revenge. <gasps> it's a craven! What? Somehow the mage's soul survived. It inhabits the amulet hidden inside the Book of Magic. Now my destination is clear. That was a craven. Get that evil craven. We have to follow the mage's soul to the tower. All right. Let's see what we have over here. Don't forget we're looking for morphing books and also mosaic pieces. The carving above the door says that this is the courthouse. Let's see. Yep, all the craven action. No, oh, I have scissors. Why am I not able to do that? Uh oh. Alright, so it looks like I have to do that again. Because I can't touch my inventory. We'll just go ahead and do this. Hopefully, this trick works. I know that I had to do this earlier in the game. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and pretend to reset. And when it says, Would you like to restart from the beginning? we say no. And then we hit continue. Cross your fingers, everyone. And now I have access to my skizzers. Yay! You know how many times I've had to use that trick <laughs> in Elven games? My goodness. More than I can count, that's for sure. Yes, hello to all of you folks that are watching in the live stream. Hello. Some of you might have snuck in there when I wasn't looking. And uh, I'm certainly happy to have all of you hanging out today and as we continue with Grim Tales number eight. It's definitely got a bit of a creepy vibe to it, which is kind of neat in its own way. Let's see. We have to somehow get in there. The tower doors are bolted shut, but a hacksaw would cut through the metal easily. A couple of coins will open the box. Apparently this is William Light, the new Inquisitor. So now I have met my enemy's enemy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You were sent to this town instead of the previous Inquisitor, William. Be very careful. Your predecessor disappeared. 
and they say that terrible things happen in the town. Return alive. Okay. William's dagger is firmly attached to his belt. I can't get it without the missing gems. Here's one gem. Oh no, that's proof. All I care about is knowledge. I've written many important works and discovered many important things. Now those findings must be confirmed, and this filthy town will be my laboratory. Okay, after coming to town, the mage used local people for his experiments. Yeah, great. That's just great. We have a little tiny anvil. Oh, it's a little tiny thing. Oh, you went to Taco Bell? Oh, I'm jealous right now. Okay, we got our hacksaw blade. We're good to go. Look at this old school hacksaw. Oh, I have to restore it, do I? So now we have to say saw time. We can't reach inside. So I haven't seen the morphing object yet. Medieval justice, if only they knew that the magic soul had survived. Dun dun dun, there, there's the mosaic. Let's get inside here. Oh, no worries, enjoy your Taco Bell. Ooh, Craven, get back here! I've had a word with you. Or I want to have a word with you. Now we have to get to the second floor to find out where the mage's soul hid. Okay, we'll try to take care of that. Yeah, all the Gibbs Cravens are flying about here. Oh wow, we are totally taking our sweet time cutting this wide open. Yes, ka ka ka. See? Another job for a crowbar! Why have we not kept our crowbar? Good question. A ritual skull, but where are the horns? I could make screws in this shape. Alright, isn't this an Iron Maiden? I'm pretty sure that's what this thing's called here, isn't it? Isn't that where you open the doors and then there's like spikes on the inside? Over oh, Nora, I didn't even see you stop by. So you're telling me there's a morphing object somewhere here? Ah, oh, thank you. Good to have you back. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the armoire over here, but I think this is a Iron Maiden. In the brazen bowl? Wasn't that the hollow bowl and you put the person inside and you cook up a fire underneath it? Yikes. Yeah, somebody please call the, cr the crowbar union. We're filing a complaint. And what's behind here? I'll get that, I'll get that. And I'd be crazy to pick up that hot iron piece barehanded. Hmm. Yeah, 911 is the crowbar union. It's the phone number for sure. So I'm still not sure how I'm going to reach that, but I can hear the caw, caw. I now have a hook and an oil can. Hmm. Looks like there's something back here. It's a hiding place. It opens with a mysterious stone. Good, I'll be able to lift the Iron Maiden after I oil it. Aha! See, I was correct. All I need is a lever for the lifting mechanism, then I can move the ghastly Iron Maiden. Okay. I need to get this torture device out of my way. But I need a lever. Hmm. Oh, you think the vial has to go here? Oh, there was a vial here. Oh, okay, thank you. Still don't think that crowbar should be, uh filing complaint there. Okay, that's creepy. Yeah, we're gonna go on strike. The crowbars are going on strike. So 
So we gotta figure out why we have an oil can still. I don't think that's gonna help us at all. What exactly this? It's a flask. Hmm. Oh, I see. Here's an old rusty device. Sure, let's take care of that. And now I have a dropper. Oh, that's a lever, and that's nails. Let's see. I'll go back over this way. And put that lever into its position. Get out of my way, Iron Maiden. Hmm. Guess what's happening underneath here? Oh, you know what, random? I actually uh, have not had a chance yet. Just checking my notes here for a second. Those are my Sim 3 notes. Okay. So I actually made a note of all of the emoticons that I haven't uh, made yet. Mermaid, strawberry, cat suit, coffee cup, and a gummy bear. These are things I haven't got around to yet, but I do have a running list of the emoticons I need to make. If you guys have other suggestions, just go ahead and let me know in the chat. That would be awesome. Okay, let's see here. S silhouettes, go. Enjoy the music. Wait, is this rat alive or dead? <laughs> Blue cleavage? Ah, good night and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next live stream. Say hello to the rest of Finland for me. Well, I wrote it down, Alex, so there you go. I need a Nancy Drew sort of one. Yeah, I don't know what I would do for Nancy. That's a tough one. What would you suggest for a Nancy emoticon? Hmm. Well, we should go this way. Yeah, I think the magnifying glass is a good idea. Sorry, back to the game. We have completed a task. The mage's soul has just flew into the book. The book and the amulet in it must be destroyed. Yeah. Oh, actually, I hadn't thought about the silhouette. Both of those are great ideas. I think I'd like to do one that's a key or something, so, you know, every time that Nancy says, it's locked! So we have those two. Let's put those there. Looks like we're going to be brewing up something. I'll need some ingredients. Oh, my gosh. Now you guys are giving me all sorts of ideas. A Kringle bar? Huh. Cocoa. <laughs> oh, the mage. Poison me. I'm dying. I saw him use a special glass to get into his secret lair on the first floor of this tower. Oh no. If I pull the nails from the shield, I'll get this pretty good planks. It's the list of magical objects I have to find. With them, I can destroy the Book of Magic and the Amulet. Looks like we need a piece of the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, Nancy did win a lifetime supply of Coco Kringle. Yeah, the villains always need their secret lair. It always has to be super creepy, too. Maybe if I cut the sack down, I'll find something useful inside. Maybe. Let's see. Where did I have to put this... Over here, I think, right? Yep. And now we have this thing. 
which goes over here. Look at this cool doll. I mean, it's creepy, but look at it. Evidence. It's a shame you got in my way. Your attempts to stop me only bring you closer to your own end. And your replacement, William Light, will follow you soon. I've created an amulet to house my soul after I die. When the time is right, I will be reborn. And then, I will be immortal. I was right, the mage placed his soul in the amulet to survive. We need to track down the mage's evil deeds. <laughs> oh my goodness, check out the little pup. Look at the little dolly. <laughs> I don't know why that entertains me so, but it's kind of adorable. Look at this thing. <laughs> It is cute! Look at it! How could he be scared of that thing? Alright, fine. We gotta get back here. <laughs> Ooh. Put all these pieces together. I am a mage. I need people and souls for my experiments. I like watching villagers burn to dust. Wow. That's dark. Clicky clicky on these little bits of paper here. Death follows me, I don't mind it. Soon I'll defeat it too. I met a worthy opponent in this town, William Light. I hope you can dispel the boredom of my life and amuse me. The battle between the mage and the Inquisitor, William Light, ended badly for the Inquisitor. He thought the mage had been executed, but the mage's soul actually survived. So now we have ourselves a key of light. And we've got half a butterfly here. So this goes here. Now we have to put that sun somewhere. Hmm. Where do I put the sun? I love the fact that all of these chains are kind of swinging around like that. My goodness. <laughs> oh, I hear you, Cravens. I'm coming for you. Still can't get out of that there. We still got to figure out how we're going to get in there. The sun goes here. Yep. And now I have a feather! A phoenix feather! Caw, caw, caw! Should I tickle the dolly? <laughs> I want to tickle him! Aw, that should work! We should be able to tickle the dolly! Darn! Darn, darn, darn! I still can't get over how cute that dolly is. Alright, feather go there. Ooh, look at this. We gotta fit all these pieces here, do we? Okay, as long as we don't have to rotate, I'm good. I'm not interested in rotational Tetris puzzles. Let's see here. 